Alright, daily challenge. Been a while since I've done these. Looks like an awful one, on the, honestly, because moth magic, moth magic is involved. But clearly, there's a path to very high scores. Took Mike two hours to do this one. I assume he just left it open in the background and didn't actually play it for two hours. Unless there's like some really obnoxious infinite that exists, something like that. Well, first thought is Strangler. And it's junked up as well. How are, this one doesn't seem like it would be that good of a <laughs> like I want to get a high score on, but and there's not even any Strangler. Hmm. Do we do Predator then? I imagine so. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to be a little out of practice on these. I just want to try to get top 10. So the only positive here is that my champ has those, but I mean, this champ doesn't really have that many things or whatever. Well, that was probably not worth it, was it? Try to get those out of here while we can, right? Wait, I'm killing him, right? Okay, so we can get rid of that. We could also set up, like, mid and moth magic them up to us. It's an option, too. Infused razor sharp edge. Seems legit. Uh, I don't know about this. I guess so. If we can get some big damage on it. Hmm. I imagine this is the route <laughs> right here to victory. There's item one. Minus two that. Purge one of them procs. Are we start going hard on these already? I think so. How many uh, steals can we hit here? Forty health. I think we still leave ourselves open to getting slots. Moth magic makes this so awkward. I really want to get that collector, but I don't think it's happening. Gotta get these things out of the deck, too. Barely any cultivates there. Hmm. We can overstack with like vine grasp, but we can already overstack with echo breaks. Should I just take that? I think so. 
think we take that. What even infuses, like, well into Steel Singer? Either of the Animuses is all that really comes to mind. I guess technically Wilting Sapwood could... You know, get the minus two. Might be okay. Minus two Ember. I don't know, I feel like we can do better. Maybe I should have took them just for getting shards though. Do we want to go Merchant of Magic? I don't think so. Base charge would be good. Wing clippings... I don't think would be as good. This will really help getting those procs to play. Alright, with Animus' speed will be good. We can get, you know, quick that way. Karuska, probably. Even though we don't have any extract other than the, the whatevers right now. We got gold. Jira. Oh shit, submit a ticket, yo. is taking its sweet ass time getting here. Let's get these out of there. We can finish it at the bottom here. We should be good. shitty thing about moth magic. I guess this works, actually. Nope, it doesn't, because my guy didn't come up as well. Well, that's a nice one to reload on. <laughs> oh, moth magic. Moth magic is just the worst. Technically speaking, we can probably just go like this, then. different now. Oh my god, this is why I hate Moth Magic. It's just, uh... It's the worst. 
adding junk up on top of all of it too. Just fucking travesty. We need additional ways to hurt our own units is what we need to do. Just need to build a super floor. So why don't we hit you up? That's looking a little better. Oops, god damn it. You know what? I'm not gonna. If I win this one, I don't want it to go all the way back. I might as well. If I'm gonna reload this much, I might as well do it. Do it properly, right? I'm kinda regretting not doing the wilting sapwood. Like, I feel like it might have been a mistake not to do the wilting sapwood. better to get rid of one of these, or is it better to cultivate this? Let's get rid of one of them. I hate this shit right now. I'm gonna do this. At this point, I'm just trying to win the fucking game. Jesus. <laughs> well, I highly doubt we're gonna be fucking winning this one. Could do a large stone. Ah, oh, there's a quick, huh? Hmm. I'm still gonna try for... I should've just done large stone, I don't know what I'm thinking. If I make too many more mistakes, it's probably not worth finishing this one out. Strangler should help. to do the awake, but maybe I should have just put him up top. Yeah, that's probably what I should have done.
Ah, <laughs> oh, this is so fucked. Yeah, I don't know about this. If I can't get... The thing is, I can make most of this up at the end. I won't be top 5 or anything, but I can maybe still get top 10. If I can somehow figure out what the infinite here is. I got the Awoken Rail Spike. I know that could be part of it. Maybe that Ember thing would have been part of it too. We need to go this route at this point. Split anvil's fine. Well, so much for actually utilizing the fucking pyre stone housing. Whatever. Guess it means we don't have to hit any more merchant of fucking steels up. I don't, we're probably just gonna have to get rid of these glimmers. They're really a fucking liability. Eh, these are not really what I need to be finding. using quick on the uh, what's his name when I have quick enchantment on Wildenton. It's also like pretty stupid. We can probably just do that. up I die. Gen procs there. Ooh, and graft. Is that good? I think so. This route's probably better. We really need to get the remove consume on that uh, rail spike. What's in the middle? Money. Just 
permafrost and double stack. Well, it's also shitty when you, you go routes and you just don't get what you need at all. Kinda hard to come back from that. Kinda hard. Do we just double stack that? I think so. It's weird. I would normally never do that, but... I think it's needed. Let's get rid of these glimmers. Let's get rid of the train steward. We gotta thin this deck down. I think everything else stays. <laughs> Actually, I don't need this echoes. And I probably don't need that razor sharp edge, if I'm being honest. Sky of Spell Shield. We can move him up whenever. I'd rather hit, hit every root seed that we can. Should have actually started with that. That was a mistake. Can move you up. That sucks. Have some of that. up that turn. He's not going to come back, right? So why don't we move one of them up. Fuck. a flying kill here. That might be the card I need to hell vent. Okay, etchings could get an infinite. Hellvent Force Contam, maybe. Nah, I think we, we go this route. Ooh, okay. The infinite's definitely coming together. 30 M. I mean, we should add this to something. We can do that then. Do it for the shards. Is it seriously going to be permafrost and double stack yet again? Another one of these? I guess so. Might be able to just do a pseudo infinite, just like a super strong turn one start. I really regret taking Firestone. Of course, if we had done Firebox, we'd be way better off. It's just the RNG of it. Oh my god, seriously, it was permafrost and double stack every time. Fucking ridiculous. Well, 
Well, let's make one of these like that, I guess. glimpse of what the infinite might look like. The pseudo-infinite, that is. What in God's name is this song? Alright, we need to skip. I guess if I had wing clip things as well, like, I basically just got the wrong artifacts all around. Fucking happens, I guess. to draw a lot for this next turn. Uh-oh. I think Windows Update's gonna fuck me. Alright, we need to bring you up. Oh shit, am I gonna be able to do that? Looks like it. Got a lot of regen on him. Focus growth? I don't think so. I think we pretty much got what we need. Soul crushing guilt. See, I'm so stuck in the Covenant 25 mindset, I feel like I, I don't think we do soul crushing there. Hmm. Extra slots. Maybe. There's the remove consume. 
I think we remove the consume on the uh, wormkin thing. Oh, nice. We get the minus two as well. Yeah, I think we remove the consume on wormkin etchings then. And we need to intrinsic. I think we do do this. Do do. Intrinsic that. And hell vent it. We can play that thing enough times. Don't know what we remove though here. We should remove something. Probably the root seeds. I guess they're not technically. If we're going for a turn one kill, we don't need those. Get that down by one. It needs to be able to be played. Double stack. I should remove an echo break. Get that down by one, I think. Yeah, let's get rid of an echo break. Make the other one consume. And... Might actually just get rid of that echo break as well. I need to be able to do damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think this is fine. Should have an infinite here. If we do it right. Fucked that up, but we got it anyway. <laughs> it should be an infinite, but uh. Alright, we got this, so. Yeah, this is definitely, uh. Definitely good. So we'll see how much points we make up at the end here. Probably not enough. We didn't. We also didn't get a good at least 25 shards that we could have got by just taking extra banners 
And also like Wildwood Custodian and stuff. I'm like I said, I am out of practice here. Alright, let's do this. Draw a bunch here. I need to be definitely like drawing the stuff that I need to draw though. So let's do this. Looks like we got it. So, yeah. It'd be an infinite, but we got the X mark, so let's just finish him. Where would that put me? 83k? I think that's like barely top 10. So, despite the abysmal like mid game, we brought it back by the end. It's like a Pokemon Unite game, only the end matters. Except actually here it did matter that I messed up the rest of the run. Is that top ten? Not number nine? Two hours left. I might make I might make top ten by the end of this. Let's see what Mike did. So he just locked in the large stone. Probably would have helped with those mid fights. He had way more shards. 285. He did a lot of the same stuff, though. How did he get four upgrades without fucking Pyrestone housing? Must have got that health from a cavern event or something. Yeah. The 25 health must have came from a cavern event. Um, he had a lot of the same stuff. He had a sap tap. Probably the firebox. Putting the piercing on a proc was probably better. Probably shouldn't have removed both those procs. Yeah, I guess just more shards. And... A really early kill on Arcus. I wonder how he got such an early kill on Arcus as well, because... I know I had a flying kill, but it wasn't... Yeah, it was only like five. At that point in the game... What would have been that different? Just the proclamations, I guess. Could just be draw order as well. What do some of these other guys do? Uh, clearly I went the wrong route with the Steel Singer. They all have like the same deal. Forced Contam. He just had a little bit less shards it looks like. I actually kind of like his deck better. I, I don't know about the total recall, but I guess with, oh, I don't know though. How did he How did he have so many plus 30s on these proclamations? I don't remember that many plus 30s coming through. Like, am I tripping or what? Like, he's got so many. He must have hell vented them after doing. I guess he just hell vented after doing like twice or whatever. 
Yeah, so most of his Hellvents must run to proclamations. Though he did at least one Hellvent to the forced contam here. Hmm. Edge Prior on the Steel Singer. Interesting. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, we all basically have the same type of decks. I just... I fucked up the middle. And they have more shards as well. Heart. What did Heart do? He has a slight variations. Him and I were actually the only ones that went Wormkin etchings then, huh? Nobody else went the etchings. They must have just been able to do a ton of damage right from the get-go. Pickle Rick as well did the etchings. He did not go Steel Singer. That is interesting. And Hart also... It looks like he never hit up any upgrades on the Steel Singer. It's pretty wild. Melee weakness. Huh. Well, I'm definitely out of practice, but it's good to know I'm still able to get top 10, so I think I can get back into the swing of things. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.